The Creation Research Society would certainly like to thank you for your support. We feel that this is research that is very significant to the furtherment of the creation model, and this is research that really can be understood by a wide range of people and certainly can have impact all around the world. We feel that this research and the video then demonstrating this research can be a very significant impact for people to understand there's information they're not being taught. They're not being taught about this in the classroom. Even at the graduate level, many graduate students are still not hearing about the presence of soft tissue, the significance of the soft tissue, presence of even partially intact dinosaur proteins, and the significance of that. Caleb, have you ever heard of the discovery of soft tissue in dinosaur bones? Um, I, I have not heard of the evidence of soft tissue in dinosaur bones. Not really, no. Never heard of that? I don't think so. Okay. Have you ever heard of the discovery of soft tissue in dinosaur bones? Mmm, sounds faintly familiar, yes. You have? Okay, good. So, Kayla, have you ever heard of the discovery of soft tissue in dinosaur bones? No. Never heard of that? I haven't. <laughs> Most people I talk to have not. Yeah. And yet it was this really big discovery that came out in Science Magazine in 2005. Okay. And, um, it has really strong implications. So, I mean, how can you have soft tissue in dinosaur bones that is supposed to be 60, 65 plus million years old? Yeah. And so that's kind of an issue, right? Well, like, I'm a biochemistry it? major, so. Cool. I'm a freshman though, so I don't know too much about it. But. <laughs> okay, it has to do with the dating. <laughs> yeah. So if dinosaurs are dated by evolutionists as 65 plus million years old, and the you have all this soft tissue, well, we know that that organisms decay very, very yeah. rapidly. For something like biological material to last millions of years is really an incredible jump. Yeah. One possibility is that evolution is true and that it lasted 68 million years yeah. through some amazing preservation process. But there's another possibility. Yeah. And that is that the dating scheme is completely, completely wrong. And if that's wrong, then so is evolution. Oh, jeez, that's like mind blowing. Why isn't this, uh, everybody should be talking about this. Yeah, I'm surprised I hadn't heard of it. That's cool. And so we feel this is information that needs to get out. It's information that needs to be heard and understood and in the true scientific manner needs to be discussed, needs to be analyzed. And we are challenging that in so doing, people will begin to recognize just how significant this research is in supporting the young earth creation model in challenging the standard dating method that says that these bones have to be 65, 70, 80 million years of age. In this video, we'll interview several scientists, including Dr. Tim Clary, who is a professional geologist, uh, worked for several years in industry, and is carrying that understanding of geology over now into his study of flood geology and understanding how the flood could explain a number of the geological features we see today. He will discuss many areas of misunderstanding that people hold about what geology tells us, what fossils tell us, about how uh, fossils and rocks are dated, some of the misunderstanding about radiometric dating and other types of dating methods. So he'll work to try to clarify some of the mistakes that people make, some of the common misunderstandings that people have, and show how so much of what we understand geologically really does fit a global flood model and really is consistent with a young earth position. One of the reasons that I'm passionate about this work is because this is real science. This is published science. This is science that is recognized in the scientific community. This is science that's discussed in the scientific community, and simply because we're creationists doesn't make it less science. And in fact, we would say that it is very significant science in support of creation, and therefore needs to be talked about more, not simply dismissed because it doesn't fit some particular person's view of how Earth history should be. I wanna thank you for coming to our Indiegogo page. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch our video. I certainly want to thank you for any support you may decide to give to us to bring this information to light, to show people that we're not trying to sweep scientific data under the rug. We, in fact, 
are very adamant that scientific information needs to be discussed. That we're trying to bring this to light, trying to show people how strong of evidence this is, trying to show people what significance this can have in support of a young Earth creation model.